Okay, it is slower to use passwords, so don't. <laughs> don't be like Glenn. God, this run is so long. The route for this is 52 pages, by the way. <laughs> I don't care about tutorial, Meadow's own routing, okay. Pages or slow? Pages. Make sure that's clear. There's a lot of pictures too, which I don't really know. Well, no, I don't, I don't need the pictures necessarily for a lot of the stuff, but eh, it's fine. I didn't bother converting the document to Speed Guides Live yet, so I'm gonna actually be scrolling the Google Doc. Did I make these notes? No. Uh, this is Glenn's route. So like the... For this game, there's two any percent routes. There's Deathline's route, which is former world record, and Brady's route, which is current record. And then for all friends, it's just Glenn's route. For true hundo, I think Poom has a route. I'm definitely not going to be mashing fast by the end of this. I don't need an amazing tutorial for for this. I can probably bump it up a little bit on the game. Yeah, that should be fine. If the game is too loud compared to me, I'll turn it down. What drew me to this? Uh, just that I had friends that ran it. And it, it's kind of similar to, uh... Let's Go routing. Where there's some, like, sort of dynamic decision-making based on... At least in any percent. Based on what your... What spawns, etc. That sort of dynamic nature of, from Let's Go and, like, this game, and Dog Island, too, is definitely interesting to me. Of course, since this is all friends, it's a bit less dynamic, it's just more RNG. done this two days in a row because of the mashing. Because I did two full runs yesterday. That was a lot of mashing. Mashing and waggling. There's going to be so much waggle. <laughs> I do wonder, like, how I can 
make view give viewership for this game to be better. Or just niche games like this in Mega Man also. Because, like, hey, viewership is good. But obviously, with these games, it's... The categories are basically dead. Yeah, stream schedule is good to have. I keep pressing minus instead of plus. It's fine. I feel like my current schedule is good for right now while I don't have a job. The schedule can't stick when I actually have end up getting a job again. Unfortunately, I can't stream this early once I go back to work, whenever that is. Didn't want to change every two weeks, yeah. Yeah, if your schedule isn't static, it's also hard to keep something like that. Like, if I were working full-time, it would mostly be stuff like, oh, well, I'm going to stream... I don't know. It would be a lot harder to do PAPE, I'll say that much. I'd get like one attempt in and then be like, well, that's the stream for the day. In terms of like, oh, I made it like halfway in and died. And like, that sucks. Because like, games that I like to run are pretty long. And I just couldn't do that all the time if I'm working full time. So I'd have to like actually figure that out again when that happens. start. Still sub 7. So there's a part of this run where I have to do that minigame that I just did with every Pokemon. Yeah, also kind of the same. Like, when I started running and streaming consistently, it was with 3D World. So, like, Super Mario 3D World, like, a run is sub-2. Like, there's time to do stuff. 193 Pokemon. Not all of them for every minigame, but... Like, all of them that can do a single minigame, at least. Which is, like... 30 minutes for each minigame or so, 20 to 30 minutes. Yep, all 193 Pokemon. Yeah, it's Gens 1 through 4. Okay. I have to become friends with everything, so I just became friends with Munchlax. <laughs> Munchlax is not my friend. Hello, Turtwig. Turtwig! 
Where's he going? Yo, yo, pass. Let's go get fucked or twig. <laughs> In any order before Bulbasaur, Bonsly, Baneri, Pachirisu. Oh, hi, Pachirisu. And what'd you learn, Axel? This run is honestly, it's really chill. It doesn't take a lot of concentration, and it's gonna be somewhere between seven and eight, and eight hours. So, like, I've got all the time in the world to just, like, hang out and chat. Yo, Bonsly. Seeds are called Mysterious Seed. Makes sense. Bonsai hides. Oh, he's behind this rock. <laughs> Good job, Bonsai. <laughs> Yo, Pseudo Wudo has come to play. Wait, was that Baneri? Veneria's up here. Pachirisu, oh, it's okay. You don't have to yell. Oh my god. You know where the pun came from? Interesting. I don't really know Japanese puns that well. Flotat isn't. Okay, I need to do the attraction first. It's mini game. I don't know if I was later early there. Still sub eight. Don't mash, don't mash, don't mash, don't mash. Okay. <laughs> With a Reggie Gigas. I don't think Reggie Gigas is in the game, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna take that low tad. I'm gonna wait for a different low tad. Hit the tree to the immediate left. Yo, it's a Caterpie! I didn't know he was there. Uh, pick up the berry that falls. Chase Caterpie. Where the? Where did you go? You're so small. <laughs> and then Mankey after this? Okay. Yo, Caterpie, you okay? <laughs> nice chase, buddy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No mercy. He did his best. Did he though? Did he really? Yeah, get dunked on. I need to get more consistent with that. I mean, I guess we get a bomb. What's up, buddy? He actually has to be Cooper <laughs> attack. That's funny. I mean, it is Cooper's attack, right? Makes sense. Stay right there. Please. Thank you. Not fast, Oddish? Okay. There's a lot of berries in this route. I guess you upgrade more than just dash. Sudowoodo, Butterfree, Lotad, Trico. Thank you. 
Already got all of you. Yo, Butterfree. So fast. Oh god. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you poison powder. <laughs> Yeah, get wrecked. Gotta friend them all. Yeah, we do. What's up, Killer Star? This is gonna be a long run. So it's just gonna be pretty chill for the most part. Did I say no? Apparently I did. This should be fine. Just resting, nice. Get wrecked, Lotad. I need Sudowoodo and Trico. Before I go back to Venusaur. Yo, Sudowoodo. Oh my god, Skira, why? He's gonna move Suda Wudo, but fine. Suda Wudo, Trico, do Venusaur's minigame with Mankey and two other Pokemon. Oh, I saw him. I like how he just walks. He's walking like a, like just like a dude. Uh, hiding so well, Sudowoodo. What do you mean, like, a random Pikachu? Like me, like what I'm playing as? Yeah, he's just a Pikachu. Yo, where's Trico? There he is. Like, he's not tied to anything else. Also enjoy your haircut, Mitzi. <laughs> Yo, 420 berries? It's actually a lot for being in Meadow Zone. You need doing errands. Understandable. Oh, we get max dash when leaving Iceberg. I see. Venus. Yo, O Rocks. Yeah. <laughs>
I was probably supposed to do the other ones before Mankey. Yeah. That's fine. Venusaur. I'll just talk to Venusaur again. Venusaur. Good luck on friendship. Thank you, Amphora. I can't believe I need 193 friends in order for Mew to be happy. It's really arbitrary, honestly. Pikachu, Munchlax, Pachirisu if I need more berries. What does it do? you're making that many friends. <laughs> what if you were a Munchlax and you need to swing on a vine? Limbs are too stubby. Really bad. I like it way too late. <laughs> Thanks, Pottery <laughs> Soup. Nice. Wow, Pottery Soup. I need to time this way better on Pachirisu. I need 144. That's good. <laughs> okay, I'm done with Venusaur's attraction for now. on the left to spawn Weedle. Where is that? Oh, that's... Okay, I know where that is, I think. But I, I'm glad that Glenn has pictures in his route, because there's no way. Yo! Followers, viewers, and primes? Okay, that's not this tree. That's not the tree? Uh... This one? Continue right at from Venusaur and hit the tree on the left path. Cool. Spawn Weedle. It might be further up. I guess I'll get that in a second. Since apparently I don't have any mods right now. There's Weedle. Not like I'm... 
trying to go fast. Where is Weedle? Weedle, where did you go? My proxy of simply not reading it. Where the fuck did Weedle go? I got this berry at least. Alright, I will find Weedle later. There it is. I need to fight this guy. Look at him. He's so menacing. He's probably actually dead. He probably just drowned. <laughs> Uh, go all the way up here to the water where Magikarp is. Uh, Thunderbolt Magikarp. Falls in the water. Hey, let's be friends. Yo, Magikarp. Magikarp. I just hit you out of the water. You're probably suffering. Let's let's have a nice game of chase. <laughs> we are now friends with Magikarp, okay. Back here. One of these crates has a shroomish. There he is. Got the berry Pikachu. Go back, chase shroomish, fight Torterra. Yo, Shroomish. We clean up the rest of the friends later. I like Scyther. What the fuck did I just hit? Oh, I couldn't even see that. <laughs> I couldn't see that he's leaving powder behind because it's the same color as the grass. Very cool. <laughs> I just hit. Out of my way. Yo, Torterra. Fight me. Torterra. This is Glenn's nightmare in Poke Park. Oh, why is he going up there? I see why. I thought that he would only be shooting straight, not homing onto me. I understand the pain of Torterra. He is more dynamic than he looks. Dude, what? Okay. <laughs> I have defeated Torterra. Jugumba's taking BN2 next. Oh no.
Torterra was fighting. Like, that was... Okay. I understand why Glenn has trouble with Torterra. Just hit him into the water. Alright, then we're gonna do Beach Zone. There's a lot of stuff to do in Beach Zone. Holy crap. I've done most of these, though, before, at one point or another. In fact, I've done all of the ones that are listed, I think. I haven't done floats before, but that's not a big deal. Oh, Rox, are you excited for the later half of this game? Because you know what happens. After the first Mew encounter. <laughs> All the cleanup that has to happen. Do you, know, do you not pay attention to Glenn after he is three hours into the run? I understand if you don't. Love world record in all six games. Jagoomba also has record in Pokemon Red uh, Legacy. JP. He's just a god. No, because you forget to eat food. Do not power up Thunderbolt. All caps, no. Understandable, Orox. Honestly, kind of the same. Unless I get, like, really bored. And then I'm like, uh, I have nothing to do. Better find something to snack on. Which is terrible. Why is Pokemon split between US and JP? Uh, because the JP com the Japanese community and the US community don't get along. Also, the Japanese community wants to use different timing methods. The Japanese community times JRTA. So, you know, have fun waiting till the end of credits to hit stop timer. They have completely different communities, for the most part. I, there's like, as far as I'm aware, there's zero overlap other than some US and EU runners do JP runs anyway. But like, otherwise there's pretty much no overlap. Not Pidgeotto. Not from this spot at least. I mean, if you want to hear me rant about PSR, watch yesterday's PB. <laughs> Honestly. I did enough of that yesterday. Ah! 
Starly, please land, please land, please land. Never mind. I ranted a lot between like Haunted Zone and Granite Zone about just random PSR stuff. It was like 30 minutes of just someone mentioned something and then I went off about dumb things PSR does. We don't get Vaporeon yet. Oh my god, Psyduck. I've never seen you be there. You're so good at hiding. <laughs> but it basically, it came down to, in summary, Vaporeon's a Pokemon in this game? Yes, it is. Uh, like, in, like, a short summary, like, the PSR Switch community's general attitude is one of the main reasons I'm not running the game as much as I'd like to. I like the game, I like running the game, but I just don't like the community. And it makes it very hard to... care. Floats along the other side. Anyone else like in the vicinity? Not really. Go. Corsola. You can't cross the bridge. I'm blocking it. Unless you do my quiz. Thanks, Corsola. King. Did you know Corsola or Corfish has more legs than Krabby? It's crazy, I know. I learned that yesterday because I don't pay attention to Pokemon designs apparently. No, don't go down there. It's fine, I can T bolt. That's a really slow moving bubble. That's a really slow moving bubble. Okay, Floatzel. Okay. It's slow moving and it goes up. That's interesting. I was not ready for that. Out of my way. Let me fight Golduck. Stay down there. Stay down there. Coming to you. It's fine. That's fine. More annoying now. Whatever. I wanted to hit, hit him into the water. He was in a spot where I think it would have been possible. Oh well. Ah! You ever get a Vaporeon to just appear behind you and scream its name? Because I was not ready for that.
I guess I should scroll down the notes. I just have the list of Pokemon open. <laughs> I'm kind of like guessing what to do. The list of Pokemon is generally enough, I feel like. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Ezekiel 3! Wingle! Wingle on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I see Totodial. I already have Starly and Wingle. Oh, don't go that way. Fine. Yeah, we're taking... Oh. Hello, Taylor. Convenient. No, Starly, get out of the way. Please land. Thank you. <laughs> the corner is doable, but you must trap them in a corner and chase them. Much safer to get them in beat zone attraction spam. Okay. We will get the other stuff on the way back. Let's get Chimchar in uh, Lava Zone, which makes sense. I guess because it's the only things it says to get in Meadow Zone are Bidoof, Shinx, and Babarel. Or you get him later in general. I don't know. I'm just following Glenn's route. I know any percent well enough at this point that I can kind of gauge what I'm supposed to be doing, but it just a matter of like where the extra friends are and when I'm supposed to get them is the uh, part that I'm not sure of. Ichu, please. Like, Shinx now makes sense. As does Babarel.
<laughs> There's so many Pokemon here. Butterfree, why are you existing? Getting Tropius later also makes sense because it's a big berry requirement. And there's probably like a big berry spawn here later. Tropius won't be fretted until Meadow Zone returns. Shimter won't be fretted until Lava Zone. Okay, so there's a note for that. Makes sense. And then I need to get the rest of the birds. Pidgeotto, Staravia. I could check the pal pad. I need Slowpoke also, which means I need like it. Don't ask me why... Slowpoke spawns Mudkip, but he does. Like Bidoof says, my grandma wants to come visit, and then the barrel shows up, and we fight. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Grandma Bidoof. Have a thunderbolt. Welcome to the Meadow Zone. I went down the wrong path. Oops. Damn it. I'm sorry, Driftblim. Just beat a grandma? Yeah. <laughs> it happens. Uh, I need Pidgeotto and Staravia and Slowpoke. This Pidgeotto is... He lands. Just... Ah, it's not a great spot. I probably should have respawned him by doing Slowpoke's chase. This is not a good spot. Yeah, he's too far. This is too high up. Is the main issue. Come on, dude. This is why the Giotto sucks. Come on. Yeah, I should have respawned him. This is a bad plot. I, I can't get a quick kill. I like the quick kills on the birds because they're really funny, but they're also really efficient. Hello, Slowpoke. No, poke. 
Time to chase the slowpoke. <laughs> if you're uphill of him, he'll land faster. That makes sense. When I go for Pidgeotto, I try and get him, like, near the water. In any percent, at least. Otherwise, I just don't go for him. If he's not, like, near the... Waters, like, near the lower water area. I still need Storabia. And Mudkip. Fish is post recycling. That's Starly. There's Staravia. I need you to land. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if I'm close enough. I can just go left here. And he'll be stupid. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah. I was definitely close enough. There. He just took a weird... He just took a bad angle. Okay, now I need Mudkip. Uh, I'll get Mudkip after Pelipper. Uh, does Glenn say to do anything here? Just use Spiro. Any Pokemon you've missed? Just need Mudkip. And then do the Doof stuff. And then recycling water bottles. Should be everyone until recycling. I know generally where Mudkip can go. Because I've done it a couple times.
There he is. <laughs> He's better at hiding than Pseudo Widow and Psyduck. Bond's life. First three bottles will forget this traction. Okay. Corfish, Krabby. Do you not befriend Waylord right now? Maybe I'm like skipping over it somewhere. Or does it like teleport you to Waylord? I actually don't know. I should be I should have all the friends here. Beach zone I know like I guess well enough that I can kind of just make it up. Easier to get Vaporeon later, supposedly. Oh come on, Twitch channel streaming Gen 3 anime amazing. I need to recycle three glass bottles. There's the other the second one. Not sure where the third one is. Maybe they spawn randomly after each one, I don't know. Yo, umbrella. Grabby, okay. don't see Krabby here, so I'm gonna do Gyarados. Use Floatzel. Finish recycling. 
and battle Corfish. I just want to try and like not miss friends. And if I miss them, I want it to be because I there was a problem with the route or something. But I doubt there is. Oh wow, that's really fast. Yeah, Bolt's a little bit faster than Golduck at the minigame. But he's harder to get. Three more bottles, Corfish. Still haven't friended Krabby. I see Krabby. He's way over there, though. So I'm probably not getting him anytime soon. Yo, Corfish? Where are these bottles? Well, there's Corfish. I tried to hit him into the water, but apparently it was like a little bit too far. Yeah, he was definitely too far away for that. Last ball after this one. Oh, amazing! Spawn in the same spot, basically. This should be friends with Waylord. Away, Lord, at all? Or is he just my friend? I probably am supposed to talk to him later. I don't know. Because it's not mentioned in the route. So I'm probably supposed to go to him later. I'm gonna get crabby now. On my way to for alligator. him go. He's going sideways. He's fast. I see why you wouldn't get him now, actually. Yeah, he's really fast. You need an upgraded dash for this. To be reasonable. Yeah, you definitely need an upgraded dash. <laughs> To make that reasonable? Okay. That's why it's not mentioned. Know that for next time. I mean, things like that. I could read ahead in the route. Like, 20 pages, but... I'll just have a better 
idea on the second attempt. This is still learning. All friends. Oh god, Pikachu. I feel like when I do this again, I won't. I'll probably just need like the table of what Pokemon to get at each split, and not uh, specific routing for the most part. Just like have an order in my notes for uh, what to get and when. Mid, Pile of Swine, go to Glalie, Teddy Ursa. Pinky <laughs> Claws, God. Okay. This area is pretty similar to any percent, it looks like. At least for a while. I think I get Sfeel. I get Sfeel later. Okay. Because Sfeel's not even on, on the table. So you probably clean when you clean up iceberg zone you probably do ice tree and this feels part of that. Makes sense. Love watching dumb shit with chat. It's good, for sure. This is basically any percent, but you also get Pile Swine. Ah. Right? Yeah, it's all the same Pokemon. Okay. Iceberg Zone is any percent, but with Pile Swine at the end. Cool. That makes this really easy to, like, understand what I'm doing. Farm berries on the attraction. Okay. You need 2,850 berries? God. I guess we're, we're upgrading dash to max. So much. Oh, 
Hellverse room. fight, but I'm okay with it. All friends time save is mostly going to be like knowing where the Pokemon are and when to get them for the future. Get Teddy here so before I go to friend club. Childhood game, nice. Uh, fine. Please be Chase. This game definitely came out a little too late for me to consider a childhood game, but it's still like really good. And it's a really fun speedrun, really chill. Unfortunately, 2009 was definitely a little past what I would consider childhood. <laughs> Goodbye, Teddy Ursa. From Plop. Do not trigger Ice Tree. Ice Tree is later. Yeah, for those wondering, like, why I'm doing all friends, it's... I hit a time in any percent yesterday where I'm happy enough with it. To be like, okay, I feel like I'm good enough to not spend nine hours on all friends. Even if I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Which was my main concern with the category this long. Getting the Glen Bop. I'm gonna keep calling it that until he runs 80% again, which is probably a long way out. I only beat his time by like 15 seconds. But still. push any percent much more other than get like the time save I know I'm missing like the major mistakes I made but that's gonna be the case for like oh, I'm gonna get a better run and then I'll have other mistakes that I know I can do better at, about and it's just an endless cycle it's hard to like know when a run is good enough. Oh, Auxiliary. Oh. I saw that Quagsire trying to talk to you. <laughs> I'm running on console. All of the games that I speedrun I do on console. Oh. 
Like, I could actually... I'm running this on Wii also. I could put it on Wii U, but my Wii is easier to, like, switch between. Please stop chasing the corefish. Okay, never mind. All so far away. No! I'm getting trolled by Quagsire. Bruh. Don't do it. Oh, Quagsires, dude. That was such a troll. I'm like walking up with this berry to give to this Quagsire and all of a sudden he's like, yo, I want to chase this Octillery. What are you doing? Please stop. Oh, that was funny. Uh, so I get Glalie, and then I just break open Mamoswine. So we're doing Empoleon Snow Slide with a bunch of Pokemon to grind for berries. I see why... I kind of see why Glenn uses passwords, but... They're definitely slower because you have to do minigames with Pikachu. Ring, don't do it. <laughs> I've seen Ursaring like walk in front of Glalie and then just cause all sorts of problems. Okay, so I need 800 berries. From bonuses. That's not too bad, I guess. Glenn also lists them from fastest to slowest, it looks like. Maybe not quite, but close. Not like it matters a whole lot since you have to do them all eventually anyway. So we do Glalie first, it looks like. We get obviously get the bonus with all of them. And we get Pilos one on the way out. Can you run the game on emulator? Uh, you can. As far as the leaderboard is concerned, because I know that's something that is probably like a subsequent question, uh, emulator runs are hidden because it just is faster. The game loads faster on emulator. Uh, but you can pair a Wii Remote to Dolphin if you just want to play it. Like, if you have a Bluetooth card in your computer. You can pair a Wii Remote and it works in Dolphin. I haven't personally done it, but I know it's possible. Ah, I tried to get that boost.
Ah, uh, this is a really bad Glalie. I just still hit the... Oh. Yeah, it's really bad. Fine. Not as... Wow, that's somehow better than my Anna Kassara yesterday. Whatever. But yeah, with a lot of, uh... Wii games... Dolphin does work with, uh... Wii Remote. On PC. And you can also emulate motion controls using, using keyboard. I know that's possible. Although, probably not ideal. I could see that being complicated with some of these minigames. Although most of them are just tilting. Some of them are aiming, and that can be done with the mouse. Yes, I'm pulling on. I would like to play your minigame more. Sire. Oh no, he just goes left to right, duh. <laughs> Makes sense. And this is a 55 bonus time. Yeah, I can't do that. Quagsire has very little drift. I might have been able to. I probably could have. He's slow, but he's not like as slow as I think he is. How much? How many berries I have? I think that might be twenty three fifty, but I'm not sure. I'll go over the estimate a little bit. Go, go flip, going. <laughs> kind of. He has such little, like, turn radius at max speed. It's, like, weirdly harder to control than Quagsire was. confused with the icons for some reason. I thought the Primplop icon was Empoleon. I was like, why am I doing Empoleon already? <laughs> I just saw a penguin, I guess. And I was like, Empoleon? I should be doing print block max.
I'm just gonna do all of them, I guess. Might as well. I'll be way over on berries, but that's fine. I need to do them eventually anyway. It makes sense that he's fast. Magikarp. Magikarp. <laughs> Get under a minute. I believe in you, Magikarp. God. <laughs> I missed that? Okay. Some of these are just like, there's no way you can hit all of these, right? I love his, like, jump. <laughs> it's so dumb. Magikarp! Magikarp. I'm definitely way over on berries. Let's just do Teddy or so. And Pikachu is only if passwords are used. Yo, Teddy or is on his butt. That's funny. Really can't hit that, huh? Probably with a like a really sharp turn. Should be plenty of berries. We do the rest later. Get Palace one on the way out here. Oh, this cavern zone looks disgusting. Hello, Palace One, please talk to me. You want a battle? Mm, not really, but. He has a hitbox on his back. Nonsense. Ow. Whatever. <laughs> I have plenty of berries to uh, get max dash. Blue. 
That was only ten, that was ten minutes slower because of all the minigame stuff. Interesting. Ten minutes slower than any percent. Makes sense. Max dash upgrade. Why did I do that? berries. Okay. <laughs> and then we go to cavern zone. This is going to be long. Are there... I'm looking at cavern zone, like, are there really that many more than any percent? Oh, why'd I go this way? I do that all the time. But I'm going so fast. Aaron, Zubat, Golbat. So Zubat and Golbat are new to me. Machamp is new, Meowth is new, Scizor is new, Geodude's new. Max. Okay. I'm gonna have to pay a little bit of attention here. Because there are some new things I need to get. Mostly Zubat Golbat and unlocking Magnazone. Thought that's so fast, Pikachu. Mr. Mine. Uh, talk to Mawile, go all the way to Aeron. On the way, chase Zubat. Okay. Mm. Nope. One of you, one of you, one of you. Talk to me. Thank you. Zubat I hit. I hit the wrong Zubat. No. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Can I do Golbat now? He does some, yeah, he does some more things to do that. Why? He could you go the way you're supposed to go, please. Oh my god, Cranidos, get out of the pain. Stop. Okay, Golbat Chase is kind of annoying.
There he is. Give Aaron our iron. Okay, small aisle. Out of the way. Where is she? She's supposed to be like just right over here usually. Pretty sure this is a Magnemite. Yeah. I know I need to get them all out. Mall Isle's hiding from me. There she is. I'm all chasing any percent yesterday was really bad. Because I missed Thunderbolt twice. So many Zubat in the way. Magnemite is. Oh, I think it might actually be this one. Yeah, it is. Scizor now. Because it would make sense to me to grab Scizor now, as opposed to like waiting. Because he's right here, most likely. And chances are I'm not going to be coming back over here if I don't have to. I have no real reason to other than Scizor. Well, he's not here now. So I guess I will come back over here later. Dude. Dude. I don't know where you hide. I'm like looking. It's a good hiding spot if I don't turn the camera to see you. Hello, Meowth. I'm kind of just doing these like as I come across the Pokemon. Sidon's tail is gray. Okay. Good to know, Meowth. Good to know. I've never considered Bastiodon's tail in my life.
Uh, out of my way. But I still need Orchic, Fizzor, Magnazone. I didn't want to sidestep there. I also thought he would throw a bone. Oh, wait, I... Two dashes killed him? I forgot that I upgraded dash three times instead of twice. Do so my dashes do more damage? Or does everything do more damage? I, I think I noticed my Thunderbolt did a lot more damage to Kranidos. He was, like, really low after Thunderbolt dash. I don't know if I really need bear. Oh my god, Torchic. I am getting no, no. Torchic now, I think. Putting down the berry, getting Torchic. No, no. Torchic is way too easy to miss. I'm actually curious. Will this kill? No. <laughs> Not quite. First star. Uh, where's the berry? Where's the berry? What's up, first star? Just splash. I'm going as fast as I can while reading the route. Pikachu, please. Play some Smash. I think I see, I saw that. You were playing Smash. Uh, why you would do something crazy like that, I don't know. But <laughs> uh, so my champ scissor, champ scissor, diglet, magnezone. So this is all friends for those joining with first star. There are 193 Pokemon in this game, and we are befriending all of them. Including that Fampy, eventually. That Raichu more recent, or sooner than the Fampy. Glenn is the one that made the route I'm using. So if I mess something up, it's Glenn's fault. <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu. Carry drum. Do not talk to them right away. Just spawn drift them. Okay. I will trust you, Glenn. <laughs> I will trust you. Hi, Vicky. You're basically at the beginning of the run. This run is so long that it's kind of still the beginning. <laughs> Rule number one, blame Glenn. Yeah. just have like the list of Pokemon. I don't really need everything else. Yeah. Like there's general routing for like what to get when, but for the most part it's get them like when you come across Mr. them Mine. and hope that you don't have to backtrack for them. Mr. Mine. 
Sorry, Mr. Mime. Like, we're gonna get Machamp, and that's an... We're gonna get to do Machamp Obstacle Hop. Ugh. Obstacle Hop. Stop talk about get a pop class before starting the timer. Amazing Orox. Yo, this dash upgrade goes. Two shotting Gibble is really cool. Why the category shift? Uh, my ending percent time was good. So I did, I'm doing the longer category. Yeah, like, yeah, my any percent time can be better. And I will do more any percent. It's just it's good enough to where I, like, want to start doing all friends once in a while. Hi, Raichu. Raichu, where are you going? Uh, when my... When my any percent time gets approved, I'll be 13 on the leaderboard. So, like, pretty good, pretty reasonable. I need Scizor before doing, uh, Astiodon. There he is. Look at this big bug. Wrecked. <laughs> uh... Oh, I need to do Machamp still. Okay. Oh, don't go this way. Uh, Machamp, and then Bastiodon. Look at this guy, flexing with all four of his arms. It costs a hundred berries. Machamp, you are... a monster. Oh. I see why, uh... Throwing rocks at you the whole time. <laughs> what do they do to you? He's in a dark cave. There's no like light to ref to make him like shine. for this. Get 4.5k. Let's go, Gibble. a lot of Pokemon. You use all the Pokemon in this run, to be fair. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably fine. Eh, less fine now. Okay, that's plenty good enough. No, I don't want to hit it, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Oh, 
Do you Pikachu only this run? No. You have to use them all. Any percent you could use only Pikachu for everything, it would be slow, but you could do it. But all friends, you can't use only Pikachu. Yo, my champ. Are you my friend yet? You are my friend, okay. I wasn't sure if the obstacle hop made you my friend. Because it didn't seem like it did. Magnazone. Magnazone. What a voice. Trio. This should be everyone, I think. Except for Fan P, which I do later. Oh boy. <laughs> do you get more than two health on Pikachu? No, you still don't upgrade Pikachu's health. It's just too slow to upgrade. Pikachu's other stats. We only upgrade Dash. To literally move faster. No, I... I know him on top. I know. I didn't... I didn't mean it. I just wanted to come over here and fight Chimchar. So Pikachu can be upgraded in four ways. Uh, Dash, Thunderbolt, Iron Tail, and Health. <laughs> we only upgrade Dash. Oh, Infernape. Magby, 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 Magby. Hitmon Slaughter. Uh, I need to do Vulpix also. as fast as me. We do camera up. Are you going to put a crate to spawn ball toy? Okay, I know where that crate is. Also, unlike any percent, like if you've seen any percent in uh, this area, you know that there's a chance for gold ore to spawn. When in any percent, you only want iron. Well, we actually want at least one gold. Well, not at least. We only want one gold. 
Hitman Slaughter. That's funny. <laughs> text to speech definitely, or speech to text definitely works like consistently. Just spun ball toy? Yes. Ball toy. Yes, I would like to battle you, ball toy. <laughs> and this will spawn clay doll. Matt me. Okay, I thought there would be more of a fight to that, but whatever. I'm used to him on top having a hitbox. Being disjointed and annoying. Yo, this is a... Uh, oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. Inverted my controls. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, then. I didn't consider that to be like a thing that would actually happen. All right. You must fight me before you use the drill. Don't ask why. Okay. Oh, I don't need to... I don't need to T-bolt. My dash is fully upgraded. <laughs> So I want two iron, one gold. While collecting your ores, befriend these two Pokemon before I appear here. Torkoal and Golem. Okay. He's just bringing everyone else into being his friend. Uh, I mean... These Torkoal are pretty mean. I'll get Torkoal on the way back up. These Torkoal just showed up and were like, our job is to make you not succeed. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, I'll get Torkoal on the way back up. I do... I would like to get gold before iron... Pull the second iron before the gold play the attraction first. And then farm for gold later, I guess. Is that Goofy's voice actor playing Torkoal? You know what it might be. Probably not, but that's funny.
Uh, uh... See, I need to get Golem and Torkoal. I wonder if I don't get gold now when I come back and do it. I guess later, later. Sorry, Torkoal. <laughs> Let me beat up this turtle. Piss. <laughs> yeah, that fight's really easy. Can't unhear it now. No, I, I can kind of... I see what you're saying. Get out of my way. <laughs> but I'll probably forget about it. Gold? 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 Alright. I'll get it later. There's a point where it says get all the Pokemon you missed on the way down to Grifflim, so that's okay. <laughs> Fine. Just in time. Yeah, Mitzi. There's a... <laughs> I need gold, though. I... I'm gonna have to farm gold later. annoying but it'll happen we'll just do it after blaziken's attraction because there's a lot of stuff we get to do after riparian Eating for the first time today, got some sushi, nice. What kind of sushi? You woke up four hours ago, okay. Party platter? Okay. Yo, hamburger helper? I made a roast beef sandwich with au jus. <laughs> I hate this minigame so much. Okay, we win. This minigame is so good. I mean, I really don't have to keep playing this. I already have more than succeeded in Pikachu's goal. Like, 6,000 points. <clears throat> yeah. Roast beef provolone on uh, French roll. Yo, Riperior is hyped that we cleared his attraction.
You're right. Oh, uh, I love bullying Pokemon like that. It's like, yeah, deal with my Oki setup, please. It's kind of OP. You must prove your knowledge. I don't want to. We need Hitmonchan, Flareon, Ninetales, Ponyta, Quilava, and Infernape. <laughs> so we're gonna get literally everyone up here. Yo, Quilava. Three questions, that's it? Yeah. Yo, look at the dude, Infernape. He's stanced. I okay, Quilava. They're like all hanging out right now, and I'm just gonna go in there and be like, hey, all of you, fight me. <laughs> okay, Hitmonchan. <laughs> Jesus, Infernape. <laughs> uh. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> He was just like, nah, all of you are getting my shit right now. Oh, Hitmonchan's behind me again now. Yo, Ninetales, can you stop shitting fire? Would you call that? Oh, I'm fighting Flareon. I thought we were chasing or something. GG. Uh, I need to do Hitmonchan and Infernape still. Ah, out of my way. Hitmonchan, can you not be in the way? <laughs> Maybe. All right, that worked. <laughs> the slow mo makes it so much funnier. Yeah. Yo, Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. Be my friend. Caught in the cross. <laughs> Dude, Kualava was just, just trying to like live his life. Pikachu's shock might uh might hurt a little bit. Ah! 
Just a little sting. <clears throat> so I can save and quit back to the start of the zone and then farm gold. After Blaze again. Because I've done everyone else. Welcome, Lightning Strike. That's such a, like, threatening name. For a Pikachu. Why did I not T-Bolt him? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Haircut didn't go too bad. She cut off like an inch and a half. Oh no. But this lightning strike twice in the same spot? Sometimes. Six K. Six K. Easy. I think Pikachu has a concussion. Perpetually concussed. So yeah, any percent would be done for me in about six minutes. In slot one or slot two because so i was very heavily considering slot two gold please maybe no let me wait for this drill to stop going. Wait for the thing to go back up. Gold! Please? Eh? 
Let's go. So much iron. Supposedly it's one in five, but we don't. Brady and I don't believe that because we get gold in any percent so easily. Why do you need gold to befriend him on top? <laughs> him on top will only be your friend if you give him a gold top. So we need gold. Hitmontop is the owner of the drill. So, he is literally digging for gold. <laughs> Dude, this is actually unlucky. I've had any percent runs where I got like five gold in a row. Why would I have to do it? To prove my friendship. All right. To prove that I'm a worthy friend to hit on top. Dude. A couple PBs ago, my inner percent run was fifth try iron ore which means i got four gold in a row <laughs> like dude come on <laughs> give me gold <laughs> supposedly one in five Supposedly. I mean, Brady and I have been arguing that it's probably higher than that, but... You got a gold nugget. Let's go, Pikachu. Let's go. That's not the gold. Put it down. <laughs> We're going to become Hitmontop's friend. This is one of the slowest friends, too. Even if you do get lucky, it's still really slow. Because you still have to walk all the way fucking down here and back up. Let's go, Pikachu! Harry that gold ore, gold nugget, all the way down to the furnace. Make a top. Round, round, round. A <laughs> little faster, Pikachu. For the love of God, do not make an a bar out of gold. Pikachu, it's right there. We're going to become Hitmontop's friend. <laughs> this is definitely the worst of the RNG. Don't do it. You fucker. I'm... Dude. Fuck off. <laughs> You wouldn't do this for a friend? <laughs> Would you believe that I'm already friends with Torkoal? <laughs> they just did that shit.
fucking him on top. <laughs> Someone shit in that turtle cereal. <laughs> All right. We're just going to haunt zone like immediately. Matching his BB and Sam. Yeah. That's a... Honestly, like, matching a PB is funny. All these pink living friends. Seriously, dude. Okay, there's a lot in Haunted Zone. There is a lot. Okay, bot. <laughs> Why would I not get double dash here? Whatever, Glenn. <laughs> because he says get full dash upgrade now, if you haven't gotten it yet, which we already have full dash upgrade, but he should specify double dash also. Because I feel like there's no reason not to just get double dash. But I'll get it later, I guess. Pikachu, sub 30. This is the minigame I'm still the worst at, by the way. Really? Ah, that was too high at the peak. Okay, still got the bonus, it's fine. Tangrowth in the Haunted Zone, have you seen it? Come on, Mitzi. <laughs> Look at that thing. Besides, there's far scarier Pokemon inside the mansion. Just wait. Hey, Drifloon, I've got some children. Could you, like, take care of them? Gascon. 
Yeah, That's I don't know why Glenn work. doesn't say to get double dash here. Oh well. I guess max dash is still like pretty fast. That's gone. Over here. That's gone. Gasly, Voltorb, and Gengar. Gasly. Gasly. I don't think I've ever seen Voltorb inside here. There's a Voltorb in here. Oh, it's in a vase. Okay. What? Break the vase in the top right corner of the room and spawn Voltorb? Why is there a Voltorb in a vase? I love the ghastly chase. It's definitely one of the easiest ones once you know what to do. Ghastly. You just mash one and two and just smack him. Ghastly. Oh, Gengar. Gengar. Gengar, can you get out of there? What is wrong with you? Stop rolling around. We're going to become friends with Voltorb. I don't know where he is. Okay. Gengar, please. Leave the door closest to Gengar and head out to the grand stairs on the main floor, Stunky Elekid. Gengar, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, please. Oh my god. He's camping. He's camping. Dude, get in the room. <laughs> He's camping me. The Gengar, stop it. <laughs> He's camping the doorway. <laughs> Stupid troll. That's funny. That's funny as shit. Uh, downstairs. Yo, Stunky. Elekid, no. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't think that Stunky would leave clouds of piss. 
on the stairs. But I guess he does. Delicate, where are you? Where are you hiding? What? He wouldn't be over here, would he? <laughs> Didn't think he would be in the other room for some reason. Like, where are you? <laughs> Oh god, wrong way. Friend of these Pokemon. Well, you're in my way. I'm supposed to do Dust Mars attraction now. But I need to friend all these Pokemon anyway. Don't punch. Don't punch me. Oh, you just do the same thing as Electivire. Okay. GG Electabuzz. Yo, Umbreon. Where are you going? <laughs> Get back here. Best EV evolution right there. And since we beat up Umbreon, Espeon shows up. Okay, they're pretty far away. Use Gengar. Bonus is nine seconds. Okay. <laughs> Easy. So Skun Tank, Espeon Haunter. I can't believe Electabuzz pissed off Skun Tank and now he won't talk to me. Projectile like that. 
Okay. I just need Espeon. SB. Look at her go. The most terrifying Pokemon of them all. He's here. Okay. Go back upstairs. Yo, Luxray. Maybe later. <laughs> Doesn't say to do Luxray yet. Buzz, don't go that way. Okay, yeah, it says Luxray after Rotom's game. So I guess I could have done it, but I've never seen Luxray there. Hopefully, he's not like rare or hard to find. You should sleep whenever you're sleepy. Sage advice from Abra. Breloom, why? Bullet seed. Okay. That's really annoying. Why are you like, out here? <laughs> okay, fights in the mansion? Not good. A little weird with Pokemon that like leave the room. a little weird when Pokemon like Breloom and Gengar just like leave the room and camp the doorway with projectiles. Optimal, but a little weird. Okay, bring this to Mr. Evis. I'm gonna library, do road home stuff. Go back up to civilization and talk to Mr. <laughs> oh, I have to chase Mr. Evis after I get rid of the string. Okay. Don't forget that. We fixed her piano. <laughs> and Miss Magius comes out of the library. She was so depressed that the piano was broken that she was hiding and locked herself in the library. 
Yeah, I definitely should have got that Lux Ray when he was like in my way. It's fine. Yes, yeah, Sableye, I would like to do a quiz. Yo! Another wanna become famous? Who's the first friend of Pichu? Yo, two of them? Man. If only there was downtime and I could snipe them like right now. Let's go, Glenn! Follow us in the age. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, Glenn, I have a question about your route. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious why the route doesn't say to get double dash. Like, is it actually not fast enough, or is it just too old. Because <laughs> I definitely didn't turn around and get double dash when I went back to meeting place. Max dash is good enough. I figured. I figured like, you'd have enough money to get max dash anyway. I just wasn't sure if getting double dash also would still be faster. But probably no one cares. We need Pichu, Electrode, Miss Magius, Luxray. Luxray. Luxray doesn't like my vibe? What do you mean? What are you talking about, Luxray? Oh, you want to chase. I
I thought it would have been a fight because it's a fucking big Pokemon. Because <laughs> Magius wants to battle though, okay. Hi Pichu. Tiny ass hitbox. <laughs> I need Electro to come back into the room. Where are you going? Jesus. Alright, that's a fast projectile. Anyway. <laughs> hey, there's Electro. Nice. I've become friends with Haunter, why don't you? Like, I I did. What do you want from me? Leave the Great Hall. Entrance Hall. Oh my God. Go up the Grand Stairs. Green Jewel Room. That was the one with Spinner Act, right? Stop doing that. Where is uh Riolu supposed to be? Run down the hallway. I assume he's down here or something. There he is. And then chase dust bolt, okay. Nice little Hadoken. Yes, I would like to chase you, Duskull. Go outside, Metapon, Kakuna, Drifloon, Gliscor, Murkrow, Honchro. Oh my god. Pay attention. Your notes are so good. I'll probably shorten them a lot. When I copy them into Speed Guides Live. But keep like the same like order and structure a little bit. Metapod. Fly score, Murkrow, Honchkrow. That's a Meowth. Where? 
are these Pokemon? Murkrow, please land. Murkrow, please land. Murkrow, please land. Thank you. Did not see Glyce for there either. This one's Punchcrow. <clears throat> Look at the big Punchcrow. Yo, Glycecore, can you land, please? Probably why I didn't see you, because you were flying. Can you not? down here, please? Can you fight me? Dude, can you do something? I can't hit you. Hello? Go under it? I mean, like... I go under him. Okay. I dashed under him a few times and he was like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna keep going. Honchcrow, please land. Honchcrow, please land. Oh my god, Pikachu. Gliscor is the least aggressive flying Pokemon. I could T-bolt him. Shut up. I'll just T-bolt him when he dive bombs. I couldn't do that to Glyspore. Dude. You have to come at me head on, please. <laughs> he has such a, like, shallow descent. the hit for Haunch Pro. God.
Whatever, we're done. We're leaving. Granite zone. Let's go immediately to granite zone. Okay. There aren't a lot of friends here. Surprisingly. Okay, Absol's minigame is definitely going to be the thing that I am, like, most annoyed with for shaking. When I have to grind it. Pony for it, Eevee. There are surprisingly like few Pokemon in Grand Zone, it seems. Oh god, Arcanine. Arcanine's a thing. Yo, can you guys stop chasing? Oh god. It makes sense, but it's so jarring to see you jumping like that. Please, where... I'm just like dashing under you. Yo, Furret, you want to be my friend? Where's the hide-and-seek pictures of Furret? I think I see it. Why did you go that way, Pikachu? I was holding up. voice sounds so wrong. After they gave Eevee an actual voice, hearing this is like, ah. <laughs> this Eevee has been smoking cigarettes for the last 15 years. Charizard. I am challenging you, in fact. <laughs> ah! It's one of those. <laughs> I see. Ah yes, the worst of the shaking minigames. Because you actually have to kind of pay attention. Pain. I'm 
press him too. Scraping behind the bones. <laughs> oh, pain. I feel like when it comes to grinding it, the Absol one's gonna be the one that I fail because of fatigue more so than because it's hard. At least the other shaking minigames are just shake, not like shake and press a button. This is all just uh, any percent from this point, I think. I don't think there's other stuff to get now, right? Blastoise, Porygon Z, Skroopy, Bronzor, Electivire, Togekiss. Okay. It's just any percent. Don't jump. Just any percent until you do Solomon's minigame. Oh, you get Fampy, actually. Fampy in the cavern zone. Okay. That's an important thing to remember to do. Yeah, otherwise just any percent until after Salamence. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Staraptor, Aerodactyl, Jolteon, Arcanine, man. Some really annoying friends to get. Okay. You know? Okay. Just, just go, Pikachu. Just go. I'm not used to being this fast coming up here. Let's see what Porygon Z's questions are. Z, by the way, is literally existing in the wild. It's a little weird, right? Ah! 
to a kiss Go back to cavern zone <laughs> max dash is so strong <laughs> you do so much damage Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu. I pressed the two button. Now I'm just like falling off the ledges. God. Pikachu. You not. You just like. Go up here. Go up here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, falling off in Togekiss's obstacle hop. Classic. You're here. <clears throat> I guess a lot of the Pokemon in the Granite Zone are just duplicates from other areas, is why uh, there's not a lot of friends to get here. That you don't already get in any percent. That makes sense. Get a big berry and give it to Pampy. But we're going to Mall Isle. Yo, yo, Fampy, Fampy, being a bro. was pretty efficient for Fampy, I think. Oh, I have to actually chase Flygon? Okay. I didn't consider the Flygon wasn't my friend just because he opened the gate. Yo. Should I have, like, tried to get that Hitmonlee? Because <laughs> he was right there. Probably not, but... Huh. 
Huh. Didn't, uh, think I would see Hitmonlee there. Not gonna lie. Chase you. I want to be your friend, Flygon. Are you gonna fly? Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's annoying. Oh. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh. Can you not do that on a bridge of all places? Oh my god. Dude. Dude. Are you kidding me? I You get so little time for Flygon. Okay. Okay, this guy's a troll. Study dashing, like fuck off. I've maxed out my dash. You're just throwing sand at me on the bridge, and I can't avoid it. Fucking troll. Oh my, there's nowhere to go! He's just like, get shit on. Land. What is this Flygon? What is this Flygon chase? Okay, that's a little annoying. <laughs> it do Solomon's minigame with Charizard. Uh, I Jolteon. You're kind of just in the way. Do you create like little dust cloud things while I'm chasing you? No. You play fair? Okay. I'm kind of just looking at this for after like, is it gonna land? It did. I'll do Aerodactyl and Arcanine after uh, I do Solomon's game. are to kind of just like cheat a little bit. <laughs> Wow. 
his fire just goes forever. Okay, that's really easy. Arcanine and Aerodactyl. Chase you? Not really. I can try and T-Bolt you probably. A little like, maybe not on this bridge. I don't know. That worked. Hey, Aerodactyl, can you land? Yo, let's go. That voice. You may be questioning why there's a Mew split and then a Mew 2 split. <laughs> and why a Metazone 2 split just appeared. Oh man. We got a ways to go. <clears throat> oh boy, do we have a ways to go. Lucario, Cyndaquil, Shaman. Pain wide Bebo happy. <laughs> What's up, Puffy? All friends. All of them. <laughs> Lucario. Huh. Lucario doesn't shit. I was gonna say he doesn't shit on me, but the aura sphere. He turns around and shoots aura spheres. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, Badoo and Skiploom are just talk. Interesting. Where is Cyndaquil? Oh my god. Fine. Park Shaman. Shaman. Old copy of Poke Park, 100%ing before learning the run. Eternal Attraction Purgatory, yep. Yep. <laughs> It's a good run, though. At least any percent. All Friends is definitely a grind, but it's, like, not stressful. Ah.
A little skip loon. I don't know where Dragonite. Can you land again. Oh, there's Badoo. I just couldn't see you because you're tiny as shit. Oh, Dragonite, Dragonite, Dragonite. Talk to me. Thank you. Pokemon are awesome in this game. <laughs> okay, the beach zone flying Pokemon for chases, you can hit them with a jump. Dragonite is a mile up in the sky. And there's nothing I can fucking do about that. Some of the flying Pokemon, though, they like they just chill. They just chill a little, like at jump height, so you can hit them with your tail, and it's fine. Junior and Burmy. to know nothing, Burmy. Please. Don't say anything to me. Ah. Okay. Rude to... Easier for goal with Absol. Interesting. I just will use Pikachu on the attraction. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you very much for your notes. That Absol is easier to hit the goal. <laughs> but I don't care. I've done this with Pikachu in any percent. Oh, Puffy, did you see uh, that I bopped Glenn in any percent yesterday? <laughs> Literally, uh, my goal with any percent in this game was just to bop Glenn because it'd be funny. seconds but it was with a pretty bad run like I could have saved another minute pretty easily so I'll probably do that eventually
This attraction's so good. Auto scroller. Gotta love it. Chase Marie, and then we go to Sky Pavilion. Mareep, I can't see you. There's a pillar in the way. Mareep, I can't see you. There's a pillar in the way. <laughs> okay, you went up that way. Why are you hiding from me? Take a short break. Before going on to Meadow Zone 2. We'll definitely be going to the bathroom during the end cutscene. There should be enough time there for me to run across the house. before the other four hours of this run. Mischief. What a guy. He enjoys dropping planets on people. Or floating islands, rather. Just a little prank. Okay, Pikachu, that's... Fine. Ah. Not used to being... It. Dash three. <clears throat> I 
Ah. Sorry, Piplop. Obstacle hop. Oh, come on. Okay, Pikachu. Spice shouldn't be too bad. They should be faster than normal because I have upgraded dash. Dodge it all in the Magmordar fight. Like an extra bar or anything. <laughs> oh, but the chase with max dash, okay. Should be easier. Theory. Nice, easy chase. Okay, yeah, the fights were definitely faster, but... I'm just gonna split at any percent end timing for this split, and then go to the bathroom and, like, credits roll. Not credits, but, like, end cutscene. BRB.
realized I should have hit the add button. Let's do that one. It's just a cutscene. Halfway there, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't do the attraction grind yet. Do you? Another zone two, another zone three. Flower zone two. So you don't do any of the metal zone attractions right now? Interesting. I mean, I guess you probably just don't have en enough uh, of the Pokemon yet. Cavern Meadow 3. Green Source attraction. When do you do Bulbasaur's attraction? Uh, put on up the low tide, go to Metal Zone. <laughs> Venusaur's attraction, talk to him. Okay. This is befriending Venusaur, I guess. <laughs> Venusaur. And Polyon and Blaziken are my friends again. Now I'm your friend. Cool. Goodbye. Chase Leafeon, Battle Scyther. Give Barry to Tropius, go to Grand Zone. Okay. Yeah, you don't do any other, uh, you don't do any attraction grind in this split, apparently. Which is fine, I just... Does it need to be a split at that point? Oh god, the low tads. Hello, Leafeon. This split is kind of like nothing. It's a couple friends. And then Granite Zone is like actually stuff. We're just getting Leafy on Scyther and Tropius, basically. Hello, Scyther. That's a big hitbox, okay.
No. <clears throat> Big berry. Walk this shit all the way to Tropius. He should be up here. Yeah. The, glint, the notes don't say to do any attractions in this split, so. At least, because the next section does say to, like, just sweep sh uh, Absols and Salamence's attractions. Alright. <clears throat> Yo, Tropius. You want a berry? Oops. Okay, go to Granite Zone. Yeah, that's a really short split. <clears throat> Compared to, like, everything else in this run. Down to the lever and Porygon. Down to the lever and Porygon. Turn the bridge with the lever. Head over to the opening area and talk to Battle Tyrantor. So he must be over there. I'm guessing. Yeah, because then you do Absol's grind. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Attraction grind. So is Titar like over here somewhere? Hit lever, go to T-Tar. Where is he? Is he like down here? Down by low bunny? Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to check next. Hello, big green dinosaur. <clears throat> I've already fought you once. You just don't know it. Alright, this is the fun part of the run, right? Everyone loves attractions? Ow. Absol. Absol. Pikachu, Vulpix, Eevee, Mareep, Furret, Riolu, Breloom, Infernape. There's a lot. Make more friends. Come on, Pikachu. I was caught off guard by that. That's not bonus. Should have just hit plus immediately. Ah. Why is that a thing? What do you can do. This is so obnoxious. Is there a better shake method for this? God. Just go, Pikachu. Just fucking go. At least this one is first.
This is the worst one. I've come to that decision. Absol's is so bad. I wish it was just shake. I would wish it wasn't like shake and jump. Why? I wish it wasn't shake and jump at the same time. There has to be a better way of doing this. I refuse. I've been too early because I'm used to Ponyta. I'm used to Ponyta. Being like fast. Why? Why was that so close? This minigame is ass. Buffoon. Whatever, go. Oh, my arm. I've only done three. Good thing I didn't lift today. What is this jump animation for it? Go. Oh. I probably still could have made that 16 seconds. Trying to do it with like as little effort as possible. for Cinder to verify this run and just laugh at how bad it is.
Oh yeah, yesterday when I was complaining about... Not really complaining, we were kind of talking about how Cinder is the only active park mod. And how it, like, had been... A couple weeks since my PB. And it hadn't been verified yet. During that run, Cinder verified my last PB. Like, as we were saying how there's only one active park mod, and it's Cinder. Just mod Glenn. Just mod Glenn. be the fastest way to do this waggle but I this method works for me I found in the last like few minutes Taco. Well, Bunny's fine. Have you seen Megalop Bunny recently? Three more. And then we get to do Salamence. Yo, Shaman, calm down. Absol and Chikorita left. Chikorita did the thing with the leaf. on slow ass pokemon dude <sighs> can't believe you made it chikorita it's trying its best to try harder god that was so much Leave and head down towards Salamis' attraction. Fight That's Garchomp.
Where the fuck is Garchomp? There he is. Yo, Garchomp. Fight me. I've already beaten you once. Kind of. Arcanine, get out of the way. Hey. Oh my god, Arcanine. <laughs> Taking collateral damage. Blaziken's Boulder Bash is amusing. Thank you, Garchomp, for your wonderful insight. I disagree. <laughs> Yo, Staraptor, you want to play this? <laughs> Can't eat 6k with Zubat. The only world record that matters. Easy 6k. Yo, Magikarp Snow Slide. That's sick. Let's go, Magikarp. At least this is a nice break from Absol, but it is just a traction grind on an auto scroller. Every attraction is a joke. That'd be funny. Just have Magikarp do everything, including the flying games. Just strap some balloons to him. Need 8k. Oh yeah, Venusaurs. That's a good one for uh, Magikarp to have. Can Magikarp do awkward? Because <laughs> we already have slow but that's honestly kind of fair. Do I need here? 8k. Not really paying attention. Because these are kind of free. Some Why does Taylor move so much smoother in Salamence's game than in Pelipper's? Honestly.
9k. Easy. I hate how big he is and just takes up the entire screen. Weird that I we haven't done Togekiss already, but we use Charizard. Doing attractions now. That's the rest of the game. Ten point five with Pidgeotto. Can't wait for Bulbasaur's Daring Dash. And just to be grinding that out for 10 minutes. Definitely isn't a category you can do every day. And keep your sanity and like not be sore. I'm already past the goal. I believe you did this with passwords just to like have to do the extra Pikachu stuff too. Yo, why does Glyscore have Swift? still so many left to do on this attraction. Super hit the goal. Staraptor, Aerodactyl, Flygon, Dragon, that's not.
all of this to befriend Latios. Why is the Raptor kind of slow? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Is Aerodactyl a flamethrower? What? I mean, I, he, he can learn it. I understand. But... Why? We're almost done with Salamence's attraction. Only two more after Flygon. sound like that. <laughs> 17k on Dragonite, and then 20k on Salamence. Dragonite, I can't see. You're in the way. I can't see past Dragonite's giant dump top ass. He did Charizard. Yo! You know who we're gonna befriend in Beach Zone? Just wait. Once I leave here, we're gonna go make a new friend. Yes, it's not really an 
issue. Yeah. Just do more, just do uh, full red at this point. Makes sense. I guess for sanity, I'm going to double check my pad before I go to beach zone. Did I not? Do I not have Latios? Oh, there it is. Yo, Maddie. So many friends. You have no idea. In fact, we're about to go make the best friend. Busters, what are you doing over here? Everyone's best friend. only seen part two all friends before <laughs> fair hey guys <laughs> uh run back to pelper's attraction okay In terms of Poke Park friends, <laughs> Vaporeon is the most cool. Wingle. He's going somewhere. Slowly, kind of. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, Agile. <laughs> yeah, I'm already friends with Furret. And we did a... Uh, Absol's minigame with Furret. I don't know if Furret's in other stuff. It probably is. Uh, Starly. 8.8k with Starly. Let's go, Starly. Zoom. Leave. Not really. Kind of slow. Yeah. did Spiro. Yep. Halo. Nine point 
three. Ah, I can't make that. Halo, why... Why are you of all Pokemon slow? Where it's only other parents in the Absol games are hide and seek. Seen the meeting place? Yeah. Yeah, because you do hide and seek to become friends with it. It did not hide very well. I could see it. next though big boy tropius i can't see <laughs> i can't see anything <laughs> i hope you guys like tropius ass You posted weed mark. Let's go butterfree. Ah, so slow. Not even base 100 speed. Completely unusable. not true. Butterfree has a use in some meta. It's not a very, like, good use, but... only way you lose time on this attraction is by failing so we're just chilling again by accident. Yeah, that's why I don't mash two. Mashing the two button is a good way to lose time for free.
I've kind of gotten in the habit of mashing the one button after fractions. I almost got all of those. Wow. Gravy is a little bit faster than the others. <laughs> a little bit. Not enough. done with Pelipper's attraction. True. Who we will never actually see. Luckily, they become our friends without ever having to use them. Contro Tarkus Staraptor. Pikachu if using passwords, which, why would you do that to yourself? Uh, I don't have to talk to Waylord because I did that earlier. Beatdown 1 was a little bad. By a little, I mean probably a lot. Like 
It's almost like it's made for these faster Pokemon. Yo, last one. Why is Star after the whatever? <laughs> Not hit new Pokemon. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Gyarados is attraction except for Float Soul. I already talked to Waylord earlier. I've already done Krabby. Uh-oh, this is Glenn's attraction. Well, that is so slow. Go, Lotad, go! Okay, that was a bad turn. What a bad turn. Not number one. True. Double up, turn. I just need the bonuses. I'm not grinding attraction ILs. Interesting. Interesting. Help me, help me, help me. Help me 
All right, Weasel. Why does he sound like that? VOD channel that the bot just put? Oh my god. Oh my god. Disaster. Disaster. Shouldn't talk. While well, the barreling. So got it. <laughs> so got the bonus. Uh, it's, the VOD channel was at like 97 subs last time I checked. And I get a custom URL at 100, so that's cool. Almost there. It won't have to be that ugly UCB blah anymore. <clears throat> uh, high traffic though. Also, the last random video has over 400 views. I I did something that just like triggered the algorithm with clickbait, and it worked apparently. Vaporeon, though? Is that? Okay. Alright, goodbye, Vaporeon. Vaporeon gone forever. for alligator go Jesus Slowpoke is a real Psyduck. Almost done. zone.
Oh, you get Krabby and Iceberg Zone normally. Okay. Let's go, Slowpoke. He's going. He's going. Kind of. Make the turn. You can do it. Easy. Azuril's not even a water Pokemon. <laughs> How is it swimming? It's a normal type. Why is this allowed? Oh my god, Azuril. Come on. I mean, I think it's normal fairy or something now, but point still stands. It's not a water type. Let's get Psyduck in here. The last one. Look at him. He's swimming. Look at Sida go. Oh my That should be Manaphy. Yep. Head over to Lapras. Travel on Lapras to Iceberg Zone. Oh, we have to do Ice Tree now. <laughs> There's actually stuff to do here. Head toward Ice Tree while befriending Krabby and Spiel. Oh, hi, Spiel. I already have Krabby as a friend. Yo, look at Spiel go. Talk to Delibird and deliver the present to the tree. Portal spawns. Run over deliberate again. Give the present to the tree. Smooshing spawns. Avoid talking to Curlia. Delibird, where are you? 
Battle Smoochum, Battle Squirtle, talk to Delibird two more times. Got him again. Talk to Delibird two more times. Pikachu, why'd you drift? Finish the tree, you auto befriend Curlia. I guess. Yeah. Glaceon. Glaceon would be. Is this the last EV evolution? I think so. Oh my god, I can't see. <laughs> That's all that does, is it makes it so I can't see. Jellybird quiz. Sneasel. Quiz is a present. How could you? <laughs> Which of these names can be used to make the word cone? What a question. Uh, Sneasel's so not over here, is he? I guess he's, like, on this path or something. I see him. What's up, Sneasel? Sneasel! Primate Mammal Swine. Oh, there's Prime Ape. He'll probably move. And then do Empoleon's attraction. Oh no, Prime Ape's still up there. Uh, 
I should do Mammal Swine first then. This Primip is on the way. He's gonna be up there. I'm going to Empoleon after this. Oh, he has a lot of help. Can you stop? Oh. I, uh... Oh my god. How did that... Okay. <laughs> I... I cheated. I cheated. I shouldn't have won that. I'm sorry, Mammo Swine. You got, like, Tusk hitboxed and punished. What's up, Primeape? I cheated the fuck out of Mammal Swine. <laughs> okay. Feel first. I've already done most of these, so this is pretty short. Look at Spiel go! He's not even sliding, he's rolling! Go Squirtle. He slides. Head first. Down the mountain. Ah. Swine, Delibird, Lapras, Blastoise, Blast. Pile of Swine's next. Okay. 
degree. Was part of that, but whatever. These bonuses are not easy. They're not hard to miss. They're not hard to hit. They're easy to easy to get. Jellybird. more. Lapras, Blastoise, Glaceon. I do like the snow slide. It's probably one of my more favorite ones. It's really, it's not hard, but... Like, you can't just autopilot. I should be able to hit that one with some of these faster moving Pokemon. Voice. <clears throat> I'm surprised Glaceon's the last one we do. I'm surprised Glaceon's this high up, rather. Almost as good as Empoleon at his own attraction. Oh, Blastoise also goes head first. I guess it makes sense, same as Squirtle. They probably share the same skeleton. Just uh, scaled. It would make sense. Glaceon do this? Does Glaceon just like T-pose down the hill? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Glaceon. <laughs> For doing exactly what I wanted you to be doing. <laughs> Glaceon is too powerful. Oh my god. Does the shaman flying pose? Oh, I didn't I turned too far. I'm not used to this much speed. Whatever. We're done with Empoleon. Go to Flower Zone.
Go behind Drifle and pick up the flower bouquet. Oh, okay. Give it to Blossom. Easy. still quite a bit left. I need to give this to Blossom so that we can be friends. And then I will go do the auto scroller with a million Pokemon. Blossom, stop walking away from me. Do you want to play Rayquaza's Balloon Panic? Not really. I'm going to be straight with you, Rayquaza. I, uh... Not really. <laughs> I'm doing this because I have to, not because I want to. What do I need here? 17k? shot yo the chikorita though doing the thing with the leaf on its head 20k look at chikorita go Paper Mario Reynolds on YouTube. Let's go. I plan on doing one tomorrow, also. Which would mean it would go up on YouTube on Thursday. <laughs> You're about to be reactionary banned. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a paper rando because I have plans. 
and that's all I really have time for. The smiley face saved them. Hello, Totodile. <laughs> Totodile is one of my favorite Pokemon. What do I need for him? 22k? doing his thing. Syndical is 23k. I guess all the Johto starters are uh, in Rayquaza's attraction. I guess. That makes not really any sense at all, but they are. Cursor gets bigger. The further into this you go. It's really funny. I'm used to only doing Pikachu. Not even halfway through Urquaz's attraction. This is one of the longer ones for sure. I'm, kind of, I'm on. I mean, it's definitely sub eight, which is more than good enough. Twenty seven Cambrilum. But I wonder how close to like the seven hour barrier it is. Breloom does a flip when he jumps. Oh. 
Look at how big this cursor is. How do you miss? How do you not get the bonus with this? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Absol. like lawn yard work being done outside at 7 p.m. Like who is doing mowing their yard at 7 p.m.? Let's go right here. Okay, he can't jump. Much longer for this run. Uh, I mean, there's lava zone still, there's cavern zone. I need to do Rhyperia's attraction and Blazekins. Oh god. Yeah, okay, Rhyperia's attraction, Blazekins attraction, Bastiodons. Uh, I think there's some other stuff too. Be able to check in a little bit. I'm gonna go check the locals in DVD. <laughs> Good thing you classified DVD or clarified. Yeah, and then there's Meadow Zone and Haunted Zone. I forgot I haven't done uh, Venusaur and Bulbasaur's attractions either. There's quite a few attractions left. <laughs> Let's go Floatzel. You control really weird. There's like five more after this. First is massive. How do you miss? Thank you. 
Infernape. I just mammoth one after this is gonna be weird. I bet he's gonna control like a big giant brick. Infernape, please. You're all over the place. Infernape's really big. Look at this cursor. The absurdity of this cursor. I think this is probably going to be like a 7, like 20-ish maybe. It's hard to tell. And like, I can't gauge pace when I don't have splits to run against. For a real comparison. Oh, man, that's fine. Oh, you. You like it drastically. When you start going in a direction with Mammoth Wine, he just goes. Like, he takes a little bit of, like, speed buildup to, like, get to where he's going, but he goes. Alright, Mammoth Swine. 34k. See how big your damn cursor is. I mean, there's kind of a point where uh, you just point at the screen and press the A button, right? <laughs> the cursor can only get so big. Three more. Before we are friends with Deoxys. You're, you are very, uh, steep turns. not even getting bigger at this point. It's just like, it was already absurdly big. That you can't really make it bigger.
Let's go, Glaceon. Why you're the Eevee evolution they chose for this? I don't know. Why it's not like... I guess there's already a lot of electric types, so like, Golpeon maybe. Too much. They just didn't have a good ice type for this, so they were like, Glaceon. They could have used Vaporeon, though, for an Eevee evolution. Oh my god! Does Lucario's cursor just take up the whole screen? Would be the master here. I guess. Lucario, he's kind of like, he's able to walk on the rolling thing. Huh. Uh. As I said, there's only so big you can make the cursor. <laughs> so where it's just kind of like, ridiculous. Point like, generally at the screen. You're good. I have to put in more effort to avoid hitting stuff than I have to put in effort to, like, hit things. Alright, we're going to Lava Zone. I'm sorry. Uh, Hello? 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 Riperior's attraction. points with bonds lie I feel like they just give you less points when you're a lower like tier Pokemon I don't know maybe that's not true There's only so much you can do in some of these attractions. Lava Zone is definitely the worst of it. If 
they all just chose death. I don't know why they did what they did. Right, ball point just explodes. Okay, I got it. Porkle. Okay, got it. Porkle's like special. Uh, also, garbage. I feel like anything that's not the top, like, spin is just a bad one. Like, ah, uh, no, that's actually pretty good. Never mind. It's just that it's instantaneous, not like a continuous thing. The top spin one is definitely just like OP. Kill one of them. I hope I did. I would like to knock you off so I can get points, please. I'm desperate for points, thank you. Okay, on Claydol. Oh, these ones are a little... These Pokemon are a little big, though. Can you, like, not get Pokemon that big? Cool. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> definitely a little worried for a second. Straight up. Oh, he tried to get me. I'm gonna use Magnezone 13k. It shouldn't be bad, it's just like I need the power ups to like make it consistent with this one. Again, not terrible. Not a bad skill by any means. 
Probably one of the probably one of the better ones, honestly. I would take this over explosion. Honestly, if it was all friends without the attraction grind, it'd be a really cool category. The attraction grind is the like the part that sucks about it. The rest of it's fine. He just has Earthquake. Because Earthquake, uh, that definitely isn't as good as the other abilities. It's like the worst ex I mean, it's just as bad as Explosion. Also has earthquake. Cool. Can you have a use of the please? Oh my god. I'm I need to reduce Norlax. This sucks. Okay. I got it at the end. Literally literally last second. God. Venusaur is going to have something like Torkoals, I think. Just grass instead of fire. Whatever. Just dunk Venusaur in the lava. I'm sure he'll survive. Yeah, it's exactly like Torkoals. Just like Leaf Storm or something. Except it sucks. Please knock someone off, thank you. This minigame is so stressful because it's a minute. Each of these is one minute and failing it. Ugh. Why is Flareon so high up here? I figured Flareon would be like one of the lighter ones. Maybe he is. Okay, that's so much. He has this ability. Definitely not nothing. He's gonna die. Please, he ran and die. Thank you. <laughs> So close. 
Hitmontop needs 30k? Bruh. Pitar needs 40, and Rhyperior needs 50. Mmm. Yeah, these were scary. Especially when the big guys start coming in, like... This makes sense for him on top, because he has this attack when you fight him. Please, fall off! Please, like, actually fall off. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Are you kidding me? No one's falling off. Dude. How? That's so dumb. Like, I already have more points. Because I'm not getting screwed over by Heatran immediately. Okay. Ridiculous. Titar. using my power. No! Cool! Cool! Cool attraction. Love Rhyperior's attraction. <laughs> it's so good and so fair. Kill things like a Venusaur. You die, thank you. <laughs> Last one. Oh no, I still need. I need Rapierier and Magnemite. Two more. I need a 50k and a 1000. At least the Magnemite is an easy one to end on. distraction dude okay that's 
sucks because that's uh, me a lot of people. Yep. They're all killing each other and I can't get points. Cool. Good attraction. Good, good attraction. Why? How does the knockback even work? Sometimes it feels like it just doesn't work. Dude. This is so bad. Uh, come on. Just give me the 50k. Why is it 50k? Interrupted? They can interrupt Rhyperior out of his special? That's dumb. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty dumb. RNG. That's all it feels like is RNG. I didn't play this any differently than I did the previous ones. I just got luckier. I maxed out the score. I didn't play this any differently. I just got luckier. Oh man. This attraction, dude. Why is this a thing? Fight Megmortar and then go up to Blaze again. I'm just getting bullied because I'm a Magnemite. Okay, I'm fine. <sighs> this attraction sucks. <laughs> I hate that I can say like, oh, I have like multiple minutes of time save in Rhyperior's attraction. Because it's basically an auto scroller. That's where we are. Magnemite. Now we need to do Blaze again. So after we fight Magmortar. There he is. My 
I'll check my friend count after Blaziken because Glenn has a note here of how many I should have. Uh, excuse me, Pikachu? Why'd you miss? I can also save and quit when I leave here. That's a decent time to be in the pause menu and check. Save and quit would be faster to get back down there. To the start of the zone. Just do everyone want you. Seven K with Mawile. A lot of these numbers aren't too bad. From what I can see. I guess it depends on how this works. Bastiodon. Then again, I'm seeing 30 camp plays, and I'm like, I. Uh... <laughs> Maybe this will be a problem. Ten K on camera. I guess I'm working my way up there and seeing how it'll progress. At least these are only 30 seconds each. Speeds up pretty dramatically, okay. Yeah, that won't be bad. As long as I can hit the brakes with Blaze again. Granidos is 13. First one doesn't super matter as long as I hit the later ones. to shoot them faster than that golem or I don't have enough rocks to work with. <laughs> Please. 
I'm going late. Definitely see some of these being a problem. Some of these numbers are pretty big for Blaziken's attraction. I need 18. I swear I swung. I mean, you saw me swing with the Wii Remote. <laughs> I understand this attraction a little bit. Oh boy. <laughs> Swan! <laughs> and Marowak just stood there. Cool. Anyway. How's everyone else enjoying Lava Zone? I didn't need it that time, but still. It's annoying. I hope everyone greatly enjoys Rhyperior and Blaziken's attractions. They are a thing, to say the least. Punch it. Go my champ. the one that I couldn't miss. But I don't think I missed it. I think the game just uh, didn't register the swing. Okay. 
Hitmonchan, Magmortar, Scizor, Garchomp, Blaziken, Sanpi, and Geodude. I'm surprised how many people there's been today watching this all friends run. Kind of crazy to me. I think that's it, yeah. I had 22 exactly. More towards 24. Best attraction? I don't know about that, Puffy. I don't know about that. Lava Zone. Sora and Smash than Disney was. Why are people surprised? Yeah. Makes sense. Like, Sora may be a Disney character, but... Still Nomura's character. Twenty six K. Easy. I love how Scissors is like holding one arm up. Like yes, I win. You didn't know how it would affect the plot, yeah. I mean it's canon, right? Everything that has even, like, any remote relation to Kingdom Hearts is canon to Kingdom Hearts. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> and no one should, like, actually defend that. still. Vampy's only 3k. <laughs> Excuse me? 
mean, I know you're only three tape, but still, like... Please break it, Banpy. Please break the rocks. Why are the bad, the early Pokemon with low scores just blatantly bad to many? Dude, punch harder. You need 5k. We're done with Lava Zone. This has been like a 40 minute split. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna check the pal pad here. It should have 187 friends. When I save and quit. Lee, and then Bastiodon's attraction. Lonely was over here when I last saw him. Oh, I took the long way around. That was stupid. Yeah, I shouldn't be going this way. I took the wrong path. And to go over here. Get out of the way, guys. I didn't expect for him to have Hitmontop's attack. Like, why are you triple kicking me? Point five K. It only is a Shoto. Yeah, Pikachu, you're so slow.
man. Okay. Good job, Pikachu. Point five K. is done. Dog trio strats. Let's go. It hit the duck trio. We only have two more zones left after this. We go to Meadow Zone, do Venusaur's Attraction, and we go to Haunted Zone. And we do the uh, two attractions there. Or three attractions, actually. So four attractions left. Because Bulbasaur's Attraction actually doesn't have a unique legendary. They just give you Mew for it, which we're already friends with Mew. Oh my god, the trio, don't kill me on Charmander. Pseudo Udo. Here we have fun making friends. Hey, I am busy making friends with Metagross right now. You just don't know yet. Metagross is my favorite legendary Pokemon.
Nice, Sudowoodo. Nice. definitely a mini game I could go that if I wanted to. It's the kind of game that I would just play. Gassiodon's attraction. Nice. I mean, it has like actual breakout style physics. So I kind of have an idea of how it works, I just don't take advantage of it. Not really practiced at it. It's also weird because your bar is a Pokemon. things I should look at before I pick the Pokemon. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tim only is 18, is the next one. Definitely a ton of time save on Busty Adon's attraction if you uh, are really good at breakout. <laughs> and aiming the paddle. Can make more car. Like the virus. Doing a pretty good job of hitting it on the left side. Oh, 
Torchic, Meowth, Sableye. 1,000 on Torchic. And then we take Drifloom over to Meadow Zone. a lot of wind up me out. You don't need to do that. 15k. Or one point five. Okay. Yeah, me out is really slow. Okay. And save wise 2k. What kind of a hitbox is that, Sableye? Okay, easy. Zone. Do Venusaur's attraction. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, no Bulbasaur's attraction because it's just Mew. Is the legendary for that? And we can already do that. I guess they had to put Mew on some attraction and they were just like, oh, the first one. But we're already friends with Mew, so that doesn't really matter. We also did a decent number of these earlier. So like the first few should already be done. Start at Trico. 160 feet. I'm just gonna try and do max anyway, so. Hundred and sixty nine, let's go Trico. Can turn next.
Paris. Palm, Crow Gunk, Ambi Palm. They get further from here, but still. For how early you have him, he's one of the far ones. And that's not far enough. Two four swings. I have to. If I don't get enough momentum off the first two. I missed the B button. I don't know how I missed the B button. And then hit it on the way back. There we go. That's what we want to see. I was gonna say, I'm really bad at Tangrowth's one, but Tangrowth's one requires more timing than this. I let go really early, I could not tell where Tangrowth was. Because he's not like holding onto the vine way everyone else is. He, he's like at the top. He's like part of the vine. Seven. That's still not far enough. I need 46 on him. Yeah, some of these are just weird looking. There we go. Let's do an extra swing, whatever. <clears throat> Primate looks just like Mankey, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty much. Just a big Mankey. Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. You know what's even funnier? We get to do Magikarp. Last. 265 on Macario. Not like I can really tell where you're gonna go. Ah. 
I don't know why Jirachi is the legendary for this. Like, is Jirachi the vine swinging legendary? Also, why is Blaziken better than Infernape at it? Whatever. <clears throat> 285. He kind of just flies. Magic Arbor needs 72 feet. And that's the last one for being a source attraction. And then we go to Haunted Zone. Let's go Magikarp. I believe in you. Oh, 125 feet. He did it. <laughs> Yuraji can now play. Let's get out of here and go to Haunted Zone. I need to do all of these. Uh, we start with Tangrowth. Which makes sense. Definitely just going from the outside in. Literally. All right, haunted zone. Tangrowth. like way too far into the swing at that point. Okay. Getting a little bit better about knowing how to time these. None of the bonuses on these are like particularly absurd. They're all like really close to 30 second bonuses. I'm sure, please. I almost had a really good rhythm there. I like how is so far up here. Yeah, I like it way too high up at the peak. Okay, I'm getting better at this though. Definitely getting better. Thank you. 
That works. Definitely works. I am also using like a better Pokemon at this now. The further in I go. But I don't think that's mattering as much as just getting used to the rhythm. Once we do the last few attractions here, we just go to Mew and we're done. Like, we're in the home stretch. Doing Rotom's attraction last is a little lame because it's an auto scroller, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> right? Blaziken, Infernape, Lucario, Pichu, yeah. Oh boy. Skip over one. Lazy gets a little weird because he's so big. He's a little big for this. to the waggle though like the real waggle of the game the dusk noir attraction or to throw out my arm <laughs> Trying to go fast. Oh, 
Good enough. <laughs> Just need P2 and me out here. I like how Celebi is the legendary for this fraction. Because why not? Oh my god, Pichu. You're so small. <laughs> you are so small, Pichu. Meowth is last. And then Celebi will be able to play. And we, he won't. They won't. Because... We don't need to use them. Oh. Surprised that that reached. Alright, Meowth. Good enough. All right, time to waggle. You should check the door. It is time for the Dusk Noir attraction. Uh, yes. Dusk Dusk Noir. Noir. Dusk Noir. Yes, I would Dusk like to play. <laughs> Brett, thank you for the raid. Welcome everyone to the end of it, my Poke Park speed run. Where I'm waggling. Very hard. Ah. Uh. Make friends already. Oh, uh, I'm so close to having all of the friends. How was stream, Brett? I have to do this with all of the Pokemon. <laughs> okay, H3, nice, nice. Yeah, everyone from Brett's stream, I speedrun games. A lot of them. Mostly Paper Mario, but I've been playing this game a little bit recently. I beat Glenn's any percent time in Poke Park, so I'm doing all friends. I'm not going to beat Glenn's all friends time, though. No need to say that. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing all friends is to celebrate. Where's my speed boost? Come on, Duskull. Come on, you can do it. I believe. I'm really glad I didn't lift today before streaming. Because the, the waggle, my right arm is so sore. 
from like this there's a couple mini games like this one but oh my right arm has had a workout God. Got a few more to go. Not even halfway. <laughs> Doing this with all of the Pokemon that I can makes Darkrai my friend. So, it's very important for all friends. One more. Oh, God. I'm starting to sweat. Speed boost. I'm missing those. I forgot that we did Gengar earlier. I was surprised that Kranidos was the one we're doing right now. Because we usually do Kranidos 90%. Primo gift content. This is the kind of thing like... Should I turn off my, off my webcam for this game? Ten flat, okay. Okay, I'm brown. Okay. I see you. At least the last mini game we do is very kind of chill, it's just an auto scroller. This does more phase through stuff. It's a ghost. Beyond Scizor, Miss Magius, Stumpy. It's kind of funny to me that there's a Mew split at the end. For what is effects, we just talk to Mew? I'm playing Pave tomorrow. I can't do this multiple days in a row. I'm gonna need a lot of time to recover from Poker Park. At least any percent's not this bad. With like constant shaking. Okay, I just need to do Stunky. And then we can go do Rotom's games.
Come on, Stunky. It's the last Pokemon. Oh, we can relax. Oh, Rotom's mini games are just, they're like a gallery shooter. Holy shit. Dusk Noir. Oh, other way. Just one more. Just one more. I don't have much agency over this one, unfortunately. Just don't mess up the menus. Get the right bonuses. 2,000. Get 2,000 with Pikachu and then just die. I forgot that Pikachu's weaker than Abra. With these weak Pokemon. K on Mr. Mime. Once we get to like Haunter and them, it'll be a little bit stronger. More like what I'm used to. Thank you for the Rotom spawn. This will be more in line with like what I'm used to. Not having to two shot Ghastly.
Mid five. Five point five is exactly correct. Collective is six K. This is still a low seven hour run. That's pretty good. Waiting for a Pokemon that one shot Haunter. There actually isn't too much more of this left. All right, Claydol. Hopefully shots on Haunter, okay. Magius, 7.5. <laughs> Welcome back, Taco. The run is almost over. This is the last attraction. Yes, I can one-shot Haunters. Electivire's 8,000. Eight 8,000. My Mortar is 8.5. With my Mortar, can you just hold down the A button? Because I know it's a flamethrower. <laughs> just like no brain, Meg Mortar.
Kind of weird how it works. I'm still going. Yes, buffoon. The run is not over yet. <laughs> Magnazone, Porygon Z, and Magnemite. And then we go to Piplup. K on PZ. Oregon Z. He's freaking out. so weak. Thank you. 
free sub from Pixel. Sub for Magnemite's cry. Amazing. Pretty good one. Get out of the building, Pikachu. Get out of the building. Gonna go talk to Piplup. Go talk to Mew. End time. I have all the friends. I just need to verify with Mew that I have all the friends. <laughs> Might have been like a frame early, but whatever. Yo, Piplup, take me to the Sky Pavilion. <sighs> this split is like just for ending. You're amazing. Yeah, there's no skipping the cutscene, but... After the text box, it's so much fun to play with you. We'll be friends forever. It was cleared. <laughs> Time. 7-17-13. All right, cool. GG's. I'll need to obviously take the notes and shorten them a little bit so that they're more compact, but do it again, maybe in like a week. <laughs> Dude, my arm is like sore, sore <laughs> from the shaking. Where does this put me on the leaderboard for a first, literally first run, 717? Yo, Cinderbop. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's see who's streaming. Do, 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 do. Random sauce. I mean that I never get to raid random sauce. That's crazy. Ah. I, I never get to raid random sauce. So I'm going to do that. At least you know, I'm not playing part two. True. Not yet. I probably will eventually. Once I get times that I like in this game. We'll see. I have it. I have part two. It's on the shelf behind me. <laughs> I just uh, don't want to do that yet. I've actually never played part two casually, so I'd be playing it just for the speed run. Anyway, I'm going to raid random. Thanks for the thanks for watching and hanging out. I've this stream had way more viewers than I expected for park. I have no idea what was different. <laughs> I'm going to have dinner and chill for the rest of the night. Peace, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a paper rando tomorrow. Uh, nice. Probably between like 1 and 2 p.m. start time. And uh, yeah. I guess that's it. Go watch Random. He's doing glitchless world record attempts. Uh, peace.